All right, people, uh, sometimes you may want to transfer a file from Windows to Unix. Let's say, for example, this file that is called Billy Out, you want to transfer it from Windows to Unix or from Unix to Windows. I have shown us how to use FileZilla, how to use Toad. Now I want to quickly show us how to use Secure CRT to transfer this file. Uh, so I'm popping up Secure CRT and I'm going to log into the appropriate server. This server is actually running in California uh, and I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and the file is in Atlanta. So I'm logging into the cloud server. Okay, there, I'm in the cloud server. That file, uh, usually when I transfer a file to a server, I don't want the file to just be anywhere. I want to put it in an appropriate folder. So I'm going to make a directory. Make directory uh, my file or something like that, where I'm going to put it, uh, change directory, my file. Uh, so now I'll do an ls, there is no file. So I want to go get the file from Atlanta. So these tools, Secure CRV is running in Atlanta. However, I'm accessing the server in California, which is a Unix server. So if you right click on the tab here, you will go to connect secure FTP, all right? And usually it will be with the username that you logged in. Connect, and now we are in secure, secure FTP. Where am I? PWD. I'm in slash home slash Oracle. I need to be in my file, the folder I just created. Change directory, my file. Okay, PWD, I'm inside my file. So I want to put the file right here. So to put the file, it just goes with a simple English word. Put, where is the file? File is on my Windows machine. There's the file on my desktop right there. And uh, Unix does not know desktop. <laughs> this stuff is only visible to Windows. But if I click right here, I well, usually will tell me exactly the path to the desktop. All right, but but this is not a good folder to give to Unix. It doesn't know what's desktop. So I'm gonna do this. Usually, to to avoid confusion, I always do FTP things on my desktop. Okay, but you can do so. Uh, but let's just tell you how to file. I think that's how it here is the file, uh, user, I logged in as Oracle, and it's on my desktop, and that file is uh, Billy Out. See that? Billy Out. There's that file. So if I click up here, it's in C, slash user, slash Oracle, slash desktop. Copy that. I'm lazy. I don't want to type. And right click, paste, and that file is called... Billy, uh, what is it called? Billy out. Billy out. I don't care what the extension is. If I know the extension, I put it there. I know it's a text file or CDS file. But I don't care what the extension. I just want the file that is called Billy out dot whatever. Okay, and put it where? Now I need to specify where to put it. Now. If I'm not lazy, I can say put it in slash home, slash oracle, slash my file, agree? But I'm already in that folder. I'm already inside that folder. You see that? So I will put a dot right there. Put a space and a dot. Means put it here, where I am right now. And when I press enter, ta -da, the file is here. If I check from this end, the file is here. If I was moving it from Unix to Windows, then I would get. Mm -hmm. So you put and then you get. Any question? So this is just using Secure CRT for FTP. So we have just learned FileZilla today. We learned to it last time. You can actually use Mobile Extreme to do it also.
you can use ordinary Windows folders without using any other tool other than Windows. Um, Alright, that concludes that.